Hello guys, we are back again and as you can see Selena is dancing around. She has very swollen ankles. Yeah. <laughs> she actually made it through 36 weeks. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let her talk a little bit more. Yeah. So this week um the most eventful thing i guess has been my swelling it's gotten to a point where i feel like i'm um professor clump in the nutty professor you know when he's like Ooh. and she's not she's over there just really my legs though everything else in my hands but everything else still feels pretty good we had our um checkup this week yep we um got our ob back yep who just came off her own maternity leave which is pretty interesting so um, at the checkup, what did we learn? Um, we did, oh, we did the swab for Hep B. Yeah. So, um, they said, you know, Hep B is something that's very common that a lot of people have. They do the swab only for the baby's protection so that if it does come back positive, which we will find out next week, um, they know whether to give me antibiotics while I'm in labor or not. So, that part. And then normal measurements, fetal heart rate. Um, at this point, fetal heart rate was down into the 120s, which is still pretty normal. We expect it to stay in the 120s until delivery. Yep. Um. You sit down so hard like a fat person. Sorry. Um, and I guess as far as, we asked some questions as far as like, um, if the babies breach, you know, people have C-sections versus vaginal. Anyway, we were we asked questions about if if crews ended up being breached, if you know, if, if there was still a chance to deliver vaginally and or still have to do C-section. And our OBGYN said, Nah, in America, they really don't do breach um, breach vaginal deliveries. Yeah, breach vaginal deliveries. Yeah. So. It's probably going to be a C-section. Actually, I heard someone I was talking to, I can't remember whether it was a patient or a co-worker this week that we were talking about that same thing and they said that their somebody was born breech vaginally and that they broke like an ankle or something like that oh, wow. trying to get them out. So, um, That's not good. Yeah, our doctor said the biggest concern of delivering is not so much that, um, but that the head um, could get caught. Yeah. And if it gets caught, then that's bad news so they'd rather get the most important part of baby out first yeah. so um, that was one thing we didn't find out conclusively I guess we can say from um, the first physical exam so yeah. we did that at this week's check too um, so she checked my cervix and she said well your cervix is shut um, so no dilation yeah. no thinning nothing going on just yet no action yeah. yet but um, uh, she said that can change quickly too. So because my cervix wasn't open, she couldn't feel that his head was definitively down that way. Yeah. Um, we know that in a previous check, he had been head down and with the fetal, where she was able to find his fetal heart rate, we think he's head down. Yeah. So we're pretty sure he's not breached, but we couldn't confirm since um, my cervix was apparently closed for business um, at that check. Nothing going down just yet. Yeah, so, uh... That's okay. Yeah, we're, we're not, I mean, we're not, we didn't really want them to come early anyway. We wanted them to come right on time. Be extra, you know, cook just cook. right. Or, not cook, but... You gonna make him come out black, boy? I mean, well, bake, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> we want him to bake until golden we want him brown. To bake until golden brown. Not crispy brown. I mean, Crispy brown is fine. No, you don't want to come out crispy brown. I'm gonna love him either way. If he comes out crispy brown, that means he's gonna be blue black when he grows no, up. We can't do that. True. That's not true. That's not true. But anyway, um, we made it. We made it. And the craziest questions we get are, "Are you excited?" And we're like, "Yeah, we're excited." No, the craziest question is, "Are you ready?" Yeah, 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 that's the crazy. How can you say that you're ready for something that you've never experienced before? Like, of course we're excited, we're anxious, we're a little nervous, we're a little everything, but then they go, are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. Like, we're as ready as we can ever How do you know that you're ready for something that you've never done before and that's going to change your life forever? I will say I had one of my uh, high school friends, he just had a baby as well, 
and last he, week, right? Yeah, last week, last week. And he actually was texted me and was like, "Oh my gosh, it's the most exciting thing just to have a you know another a, a child." And then um, he actually said one text message that just kind of set out to me was, "It's terrifyingly amazing," which. I guess it's super scary and fun and exciting at the same time. So yeah. I think that's how we feel because we don't know. I mean, obviously, you, we're, we've are we dealt with babies in the past but, or children, but not, not hours. ours. Not 24 hours a day, not for the rest of our lives. But we're excited. I yeah. mean, it's going to be different, but, I, I, you know, we'll deal with it. So we'll deal with it. <laughs> that sounds. We have no choice but to deal with sound, it. That sound point. like uh, I guess I don't know how. It Unless I started reason. doing some adoption paperwork yeah. now, like we, we have no choice but we to don't deal have with a, it. A choice. Yeah. But, but we'll be fine. <laughs> um, outside of that, I mean, like, it's, like she said, she's been swelling, but I'm still moving around pretty good. I don't think I'm waddling. Am I waddling? Am I waddling? She's not waddling. Them. That much, so that means I am waddling. No, she's not waddling. I guess you're not waddling. Yo, I don't think she's waddling. <laughs> um, the thing that will get her swelling away is raising her legs up above her heart, which she doesn't do that it's much. It's not comfortable to do all that leg raising with all this going on. Whatever, she's just being a baby. <sighs> but anyway, I don't sit still very well, sorry. Yeah, she doesn't. That's the problem. Hopefully, we make it to 37. Hopefully. Um... I mean, he might pop out in the next couple of days. You mean make it through 37? Oh, I mean, hopefully we'll make it through 37 weeks. Because I guess technically we're, we're at the beginning of 37. Right. Yeah, these and videos are like... A day late. Yeah, a day late. We got to make it through week 36 to talk about week 36. To talk about week 36, 36 so... Yeah. So now, um, the other important thing, I guess we can say about week 37, is that now, really, from a medical standpoint, everybody is cool with him coming whenever he comes. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, from uh, lung development and all those things that we had been, you know, oh, let's wait a couple more weeks um, type of thing. Now, we know that um, best, or in most cases, um, he would be just fine if he popped out today. Yeah. So We'd be fine. But I don't. I don't think he's gonna come for another couple of weeks, probably. We'll see. But we'll see. Anyway, oh, Boo Fighter, this is not Groot. I saw you come in the last <laughs> last video. What? <laughs> Little Groot. That's pretty funny that you said that. <laughs> we'll catch y'all next week. Yeah. Drop a I mean, line. we gotta talk to him next week whether yeah, 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 yeah. or not, we'll, right? We'll, okay, we'll catch y'all next week either way. If we have him, <laughs> we'll have a video up anyway, yeah, probably. we'll have a video from the hospital. Unless they're exhausted, but we'll have one up. So anyway, uh, yeah, we'll catch y'all next week, and thank y'all for watching. Peace out.